Okay, guys, welcome to episode six of the episode Long Dark. The, the Long Dark. The Dave, long Dave, dick. Dave interrupted me. He'll be fine. So last time uh, we ended in a cave, and it was great and getting better. Like a real American, sleeping in a cave, building things out of boxes and scraps, fighting the Taliban with our machine guns. Uh, so we're just gonna get going from right where we left off, right? Yeah. Hopefully you can't hear our dryer too bad. Ah, it's good. It's good for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're at sixty-eight percent. Well, let's. So let's eat. How much green. daylight we got left? Uh, nine. So here's what we do: we can eat and drink. Yeah. And then we can go gather some wood, so we can camp out in here all night and have a fire. You want to camp in, out in this cave all night? I mean, if we're gonna, if we're gonna camp somewhere, it might as well be. It might as well be in a cave, but not just outside under some trees. Okay. How I mean, much do, wood do, do we you need? agree with that or disagree? I mean, it, it makes plenty of sense, I guess. I tell you, the other thing we ought to do, since there's all these bunnies around, is we ought to set that snare so that hopefully when we come back, we'll like. Should I leave stuff here then? Or? I mean, let's take the bedroll with us just in case we, you know, we find our way wander out. into the way out of this area. Because we sure don't want to be here forever. Right. We got plenty of. We got a long time before. Uh... And we're moving buckets. Oh. It's like we were moving slow, extra slow there. For a yeah. Second. We didn't pick up the wood. No, oh, that explains why we didn't have any wood. Man, life's hard. Viewers, we are uh, con confirmed for retarded. Life's hard in the ghetto. What can we say? So, yeah, fuck it. There's a lot of wood right here. Let's just uh, let's well, just sticks. Yeah, but they'll like those. I think you can chop up, and that'll be good. Break down the sticks. That's fine. Let's just go put down the bedroll and a pile of firewood in our cave, and we can uh, walk faster. We can walk faster and enjoy the caveman lifestyle more effectively. Yeah, so I think I think Dave's right. We should. I mean, we can throw everything on the ground. Yeah. All the stuff that needs to dry. It doesn't dry in outside. I think even by the, cave, the fire. Yeah, even by the fire, I think. I mean, we can certainly try. Man, this uh, it's a fast-moving game. Some high-stakes gameplay we're, right here. We're really hauling. I mean... We need to check on the condition of our clothes since we were outside for so long. Yep. You're uh, right. We've got to... We've the, got to... the colder it is, the faster they wear out, by the way. Well, I think it's actually the wind more than the cold, but yeah. Is it? I, I believe so. Because I, I think storms wear them out. Hey, hey, why did I start walking faster? Because like, I mean, I, you're out of the wind and it was slowing you down? Or... Okay, whatever. Um, so I shouldn't drop this stuff then? I mean, I think you can. It won't hurt anything. It weighs a lot. Okay. Sticks. Drop these now. I'm actually gonna pick up the firewood and just drop it in its own pile. Yeah, that way we can like find it and stuff. Yeah. Um. Drop. Ah, moving faster now. We might as well put down a bedroll too. Okay. It's like it takes us a second to get started. The bedroll weighs. Eight pounds or something ridiculous. I didn't think it weighs that much. Also, I should just be able to walk up to a tree and get chunks of wood from it. Mm, that's not how trees work. Uh, if you have a hatchet, it kind of is. Yeah, but that wood's like wet and it doesn't burn too good. Stick? There's a stick! That's a ranch. I'm doing air quotes. Once? Oh. It's under us. Do we need. Are sticks what you use to start a fire in this game? No, sticks can, uh... Sticks provide real fuel. They do? Yeah. They aren't just torches? No, they're not just torches. Man, I really want to know what this means. Does that mean that wind's in my eye? That's what I feel like it means. Now you're thinking with portals and sticks. So we want to put that snare down, or? 
Yeah, we'll put it out of here. Alright. What, like, you think we should put the snare where the rabbits are running around? Yeah. Like that might work better or something? Do you want to just... We'll just leave it? I thought that was... Ooh, nice. Nice. Actual stick. So I'll just put it right out of here somewhere? Yeah. It'll either work or it won't. I mean, I literally just saw one run across right there, so... Yeah, and they pretty much just, like, are chained to an area and just kind of run around in circles through it, so... Okay, so... How long do sticks burn? 15 minutes or something, probably? I mean, I think they burn 30 minutes or something. I don't think they're any worse than reclaimed wood. Well, we got a bunch of fur. We've got six pieces now. So, I mean, even if sticks don't burn very much. Yeah, and we've got, like, 20 sticks or something ridiculous, so... kind of have an inkling that they don't burn. They burn. Okay. I'm, like, positive. Do you see any other easily available? I think that's it right there. Um, that looks like, uh, something. Stick. Oh, we got a shitload of sticks. But well, we shouldn't start the fire until like, it's late, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Unless we've just, like, somehow managed to accumulate 24 hours of firewood. I doubt it. Look at all this. I don't think... I don't... I, but I don't know how long the sticks burn for, you know? I mean, we can start a fire just with a stick and see. It'll burn, but not for long. Uh... Let's uh, eat and drink again. How are we doing on food? Still doing pretty good? We're still fine on food, it looks like. We'll eat and drink. Sleep for two hours. See what the weather's like. Um, well, we can go check the rabbit snare, too. Yeah. Yeah. Probably ought to make a little bit of water, also. Okay. Yeah, but we're down to not much water where we got one point or point one two gallons. That's yeah, but we can we have a well, we have a fire going. Right, that's what I mean. Um it yeah it does. Oh yeah, you're right. So better than nothing? So yeah. I mean, it's gotta be better than nothing. Did we drop all of it? We didn't drop the No, yeah, we didn't read well we didn't drop the new firewood either. Drop all It's that black thing. Crow feather. Crow feather. Okay, obviously. Probably have to speak up a little bit. Sorry. Be a little. Be a little quiet. You're quiet. No. Let's check our clothes. We never checked our clothes. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah, they're like, uh, they're haven't, fine. Haven't taken like any damage. Big big never mind on that. All right. Uh well, I mean, I we can run around and. Let's let's go. Uh, sleep for an hour. Sleep for two hours. Yeah, sleep for two hours. Sure. What's the worst thing that's going to happen if a bear gets us? Well, I mean, that could happen. But, I mean, that's not, not really our fault. No, point. I mean, uh, you know. Also, like, technically, shouldn't we put the, uh, oh, that's a snowstorm. It is a snowstorm. We have made a good choice. Should we go see how cold it is? Yeah, maybe maybe if we're lucky we can make it down to our snare and there'll be a rabbit in it and everything will be great and getting better. Yeah, whenever it gets like this, it's going to be... Oh, old man's beard dude thing. Yeah, elderly individual's beard. The the problem with weather like this is it's hard on your clothing and it's hard on your character. Like, severely. Yeah, it's uh, it's less than great. Nothing. And you don't think I should shoot one? No, I don't think it's worth the bullet. Um, let's see if we can drive that to the snare. Um, looks like he's going to miss it. It's breaking the wrong way. Damn. Well, I mean, we've got all night to catch one. Yeah. I would that have liked true. to. would have liked to have one before we started the fire, though. Yeah. I'm going to go up here and see what's up here. We're not freezing yet, so. Yeah, we got time. <laughs> Plus it's light enough that I can just carry the gun. It's always good to be able to carry the gun. So that's how you manage to. Is this a way out? 
I, I don't know. Should I keep going? I mean, yeah, but let's not let's not go too far. We left left a lot of valuable stuff back there. Yeah, we don't want the wolves to take it. Well, we don't want to lose our bedroll. I thought that was fucking wolf. Uh. Those oh, tree stops. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna definitely come back up here whenever we get a uh, chance. Yeah, this is clearly a direction towards something. Usually uphill is a good way to get out. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. We need to try to make it to the lake. Um, the next one we're gonna get to is the farm area. Oh, the one of the new areas. Yeah, this will this will knock us out in the farm area by the outbuildings, which is a good place to be. Oh, okay. Is it? Is it? I haven't been there yet. Is it pretty nice? Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's real open. There's a lot of wildlife, a lot of uh, buildings. There's a farmhouse where you can really do some long-term survival at because there's an orchard around it that just has loads of rabbits. Oh. So, let's see. We are currently doing good. Doing 50, fine, yeah. 52 degrees. I mean, well, and our warm is increasing just from being in here, so we shouldn't be in any real danger of dying. No, we shouldn't. Um, let's drink a soda. Hey, let's check. We've got two lanterns. That, that's one way to cut some weight, just to get rid of one of those. Yep. Did we pick up anything else? I think there's a second knife in the other. Oh, I guess we got it on that one guy. Sorry. Got a little creeped out there. A little paranoid. Oh, I'm always paranoid in this game. But I like how you don't we don't know what time it is. Because reasons. Because we're we're not outside anymore. Wow, we got a half gallon of fuel just in that can. Yeah. Um I'm I'm questioning a little bit if we need seven sewing kits. We have geez. <laughs> they only weigh a fifth of a pound though. Yeah. Well we'll we'll see we'll, we'll hold on to them then. That's getting fucking dark. Yeah, let's, go very ahead, creepy. let's go ahead and build that fire. We're just gonna make a super fire? Let's just make a super fire. Super duper fire. Oh god. I'm just gonna light this real quick. Kinda feel like there's some under this. But there's nothing much we can do. That works. <laughs> I like sideways fires. They're my favorite. Silver? I don't think we need it. So yeah, 93% chance. I mean, 98% chance. It just takes a while, is the problem. Well, I mean... We are just killing time. Yeah. We're just waiting until daylight. I like how the fire has to warm up now. <laughs> it's kind of a neat touch. I am going to move our sleeping bag, though. Yeah. To make it behind the fire, because I don't want to get wolfed. Hey, okay. circle of life, man. Yeah, they ate me, and then they poop. And something needs to poop. Okay, a stick adds. Eight, Eight minutes. minutes. Actually, not bad. Yeah. I'm gonna use that to, uh. Pick up. Uh, back here, I guess. Yeah. What's the condition of our bedroll before we put it in? 81. Okay. I mean, I could repair it. Yeah, let's go ahead and repair it. Till time. Well, it'll save us a little bit of weight on the uh, cloth we're taking out. We need to, uh... Okay, remember that our boots are at 84. Okay. Okay, because I want to know if we're taking outside or inside damage on our stuff. Sleep by this. It's a nice container. It's a nice Tupperware container that will keep us safe. What I've learned from Long Dark Ooh, is that apparently, fire. Nice. apparently in Canada, people just carry around Tupperware containers. You don't? Not not usually. How much do we make? 0.8 gallons? That'll give us about, about to a gallon. Yeah. 
Yeah, that sounds good. Also, if you play this game in metric, fuck you. That's also true. Like, that's an option. In fact, that's like the standard way. That's true. We've actually had to change it to be American. American. It's the only way that makes sense. Only way that makes sense. What is it called? Imperial units? Y yes, that is. Or standard units, or traditional units. You want to eat some pork and beans or chicken? Or uh, G unit. Uh, ooh, that's a tough one. Pork and beans are more manly. They are. Oh, but it with a hatchet. I was going to smash it with a rock, but you want to use a hatchet. Is 120 degrees good for a fire? No, that's like... Not good. Like... That's less than burning. Yeah. That's the heat output. That's like how hot it's making the area. Like, directly around it, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Do we eat the soup? Is that what happened here? The, the pork and beans? Yeah, I think you automatically eat them after you eat them. Uh, no, we gotta eat them. They're where? Right. Oh, pork and beans, right there. Go down. They're not uh, warm. Oh, okay. You're right. You're right. I'm wrong. Okay. So, doing good, doing good. Rolling with a shitload of, uh, of water now. Okay. Little fish in a can. Anchovies are, are delicious, IRL. No. No, they're not. Yeah, yeah they are. Uh, we're doing, doing good over here? I mean, we're doing not bad, I guess. I wonder if those go faster if you're inside. I assume they do. Is there anything we need to do while we're here? No, I think we're okay. I think we can just sleep for eight hours and... Oh, let's check our stats real quick. Make sure that we're not, like, missing something. So we'll probably just have to even drink a little bit up. Oh, man. Eight hours of darkness left. Let's hope this works out. Excellent. You're getting ready right at daylight. Fire's out. Get out of here and go do some work. Oh, it's still embers. So, I mean, you know, technically, we could start it back up, right? I believe so, yeah. I need some peanut butter. Alright. Which I believe dries your mouth out. Om nom nom, peanut butter and water. Everything a growing boy needs. You mind if I light a flare? No. I don't think he'll do anything. I mean, you know... Other than have a set of flare, I don't know. It'll that's, help me pick stuff up. Right, I mean, that's what I don't think it's particularly wasteful. We have a bunch of them. What's that? Uh, was there something else back there? Oh, that's just the other fire. Yeah. Okay. That's the fire that was already here. Tally ho. On tally. This is as fast as we can go. Also, wasn't the sun supposed to come up by now? Uh, I think we still got about 30 minutes or something. Speaking of time, how long have we been recording? I have not started my timer. Oh lord. Sorry guys. This is gonna be, gonna very be another long I mean another long episode unless it's not. Oh, do we wanna check our trap? Yeah, we should probably do that. Or at least grab it. Yeah, just not like Leave abandon it. it to let it trap something in the wilderness and be eaten by a wolf. It doesn't look like we caught anything. Or we did. I lied. Told you this was a great idea. Now that breaks it, right? No. Everything? Yeah, probably. Only takes 48 minutes. If it takes you 48 minutes to clean a rabbit, you're the slowest person in the universe. Let's pick the trap up. It's broken. Oh. Never mind. Okay, so now we're rolling around with even more stuff. Now I'll tell you. Now that you can make some clothes out of uh, out of rabbits, yeah, living in that 
Rabbit Hill would be super awesome. Well, there's a decent amount of deer there, too. Oh, there's a decent amount of wolves. Can't you make the wolf coat? Isn't that the... You can make a wolf coat. Um, I don't know that it does a whole lot for you. Oh, I thought it was... Oh, it's very warm. Is it low durability or anything? I don't think so. Um, what you're thinking of is the bearskin bedroll. Scares things away and makes it safer to sleep outside. Rawr. Bearskin bedroll. Because you smell like a grizzly bear. You think that would really work? I don't know. What if you had, like, a white noise machine that just made bears happy? <laughs> well, then it wouldn't be a white noise machine. It would be a bear noise You'd machine. You'd have to jimmy rig it. I'm sure they have those in Canada. What, guys named Jimmy? Should we get some of these? Eh, yeah, probably. They only take a minute. Help us with our diary reels. Did you know that'll happen again? Oh, yeah. Okay. Plus, I would like... Thanks. Now, do we have weight to take these? We don't really. Because, uh... I'm sure that we'll find more, though. Okay. We've, we've got several already cooking, too. Yeah, it's just that you've got, you've got to get them dry before you can use them to make bows and arrows with. Is that the dam? That's the dam. So we've... Now, I will take a working arrow. Walk in circles again. Well, that's fine. At least we know where we are. That's true. Looks like it's the cold. Day is dawning. Hopefully it warms up. Um... So we started up there, actually. Yes. So we're making weird progress. From what I can tell, we just need to follow the river. But we couldn't do that when we got here because it got so dark. It got so dark, and then we were jacking around. And... A lot of wolves. <laughs> yeah, we, just, we made some bad decisions. At least we'll be able to see him. True dad. Is that another dead deer? Is that the wolf we That's killed? That's the wolf we killed. Did we loot anything from it? It's no. Hide, right? I don't even know that we skinned it. I think we just took off because... It was so dark. It was so dark and we were not doing super great. Yeah, we took the high okay. risk. All right. I think it had 12 pounds of meat on it. I think it did. Yeah, wolves have a lot of meat on them. It's just not very good. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. like six or eight hundred calories, but yeah. You still have to kill a wolf to get it. We gotta kill a wolf to get it and uh, cook it. We've got uh, we've got so much weight on us right now. Um, so we're freezing again. We are. So should I go ahead and light up a flare then? Um, lantern doesn't add any heat, does it? It adds very little heat. The flare adds more. I think a torch actually has the most. We Why? So we don't have a we don't have a torch on us. What happened to the one we had earlier? I used it. Yeah, we're rolling with lantern flares and uh, uh, matches. I see. Gun will keep me warm. Also, I'll try to stay close to the uh, rocks because it's gonna help. It does. Any, anything you do to get out of the wind helps. Also helps our clothes. And yeah, we're going slow as shit. Are we running or? You can't run when you're disencumbered. Uh. Which is why I have the gun out. Why? Because there's like zero percent chance of us outrunning a uh, wolf right now. Well, that and I can see everything, so I don't need the. That was that was home for last night. Yeah, that was where we. Uh... Where we stayed. Wait, didn't we try to follow the river last time? We did, but there, and there was a fork. And I tried to go one way. Yeah. So it was we need to go the other way. And then you told me not to go the other way. Yeah, because it looked like a dead end, but I was apparently wrong from YouTube. Yeah, you were. Did you hear that YouTube? He was wrong. It's not the first time. It won't be the last time. Uh, I think it was the server first. Watch, we're gonna like get around the corner over here and just be like ten bears. And they're gonna have unicycles. Eight wolves playing poker. I should just be able to stop those things if they get close to me. There should be like a QTE. Just hit them with your crowbar. It's like, Hasha! 
crowbar bunny golf. Can you imagine <laughs> bunny gate? Can you imagine if like it just like flashes, hits space bar over and over again? <laughs> hit space bar to play bunny golf. Man, we're bad people. No, no. We're people that know how to survive. The bunny's bad people. The bunny had it coming by being all hippie hoppy. How dare it. How dare it indeed. It offends my sensibilities. This is looking good. It's looking great. Windy as fuck. I hear that's how Canada do. Oh man, we get to go so fast now. It's almost like we're going normal speed. Shit. I vote right. Okay. You've done pretty well so far, right? This is my opportunity to redeem myself. Okay. Everyone, this is Dave's fault. Or Dave's, you know, saving grace. Either way, I'm gonna shoot I'm gonna shoot him something in the face. Shouldn't there be like moose? Uh yeah. It takes like six shots to take down or something, but you uh -huh. Just hundreds of pounds of meat. I mean, if you hit them good, they should die in one shot. But I mean, I don't. Know. It's a vi it's a video game. Yeah. Also, I mean, we should uh, we should play Cabela's. Cause that we game... should absolutely play Cabela's because that is an entirely unrealistic but very entertaining game. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have ever played uh, Sniper Elite. It uses the same engine. Yeah, they took that engine and made a hunting game, and that's the way we want to go. Okay. They took that engine and made a hunting game. And it's fucking amazing. And according to the people that made that game, all bullets are made out of tissue paper. And most animals are made out of lead. Most animals are basically walking tanks. So there's going to be deer in here? Or wolves, sorry? There's nothing in here. It just, it's, it, we go through it. It'll warm it, us up a little? Yeah. Oh! Shit. Oh. Let's try to get out of here before it gets fucking dark. Walking slow. Yeah, it's like we like walk on to something that doesn't like us. It slows us down. It's all those sticky traps to keep the wilderness mice down. Yeah. Yeah. You know it'd be really good if you were dying in the wilderness. Sticky traps? Sticky traps. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that dude was just collecting firewood. This will come in handy. Well, you know. Oh, he must have been fighting Sasquatch. Life isn't great for everyone, what can I say? Get it? Because I picked up beef jerky. Picked up some beef jerky and, and he likes that stuff. Please let me walk faster than this. Please. Maybe we'll hit some ice and just slide on it. Legend of Zelda style. That would be pretty cool. I'll ask uh, Andrew and Leonard if they're going to do that. What, slide on ice? Yeah, because they're playing uh, Link to the Past. Well, I mean, I think it's basically mandatory. Okay, um, this is this is terrible. Well? Should I just drop that second coat we got? Drop the coat. Or... It was only 26%. Okay. Um, we're tired or something. Cold? I'll eat and drink. That'll help. Should I just go ahead and eat some raw rabbit? Don't do that. I don't know why you have such a problem with it. Such a problem with something that will just take away more of our health that we're already on? Gee, I don't know. Life's hard to get up. Life's hard everywhere. Well, we should warm up again. We're not as cold at least. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're no longer dying. Do you know which way to go? I, I think one way is a dead end. Should I write then? I'm thinking right. Sure. I don't know, you did good last time, so. You did well. Okay, we're out. What? Word crimes? Are you doing great or doing well? Just want to fucking. I mean, fucking hell. Okay, let's just use the latch. Hey, my is so nice. Okay, this is fucking terrible. Which way? Uh, uh, right. So we're just taking rights? I guess. Man, my, uh, my Minecraft days are coming back. 
We need some torches. You gotta put torches on the right. Take every right and then do the hokey poke, hokey pokey. Cold? Excuse me? So someone was a bad boy for Santa Claus. Thank God, because coal might be awesome. I wonder if that start if you can throw that on a fire. I I assume you can. What's it weigh? Less than a pound. Otherwise, it would literally just be pointless. Well, we could always start up the fire and find out. Well, cook that rabbit. We'll give us an opportunity to cook that rabbit. Man. And it's fucking can... everywhere. That will let us kill some weight. Maybe sleep. Yeah. Turn on the bed. Of course, I'm just assuming that that coal works the way we want it to. Everyone knows you can't burn coal. Ah, uh, you can't use it to start a fire. Well, that doesn't mean you can't throw it on a fire. True. Um, 64%? Does it count as a tender, maybe? No. Or seller? it? That would no. be kind of ridiculous if it did. I just use accelerant. We'll find more. Yeah, we'll be fine. Oh. Yeah. Oh, damn. you got to let the fire get hot enough to burn the coal. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so I guess we'll, uh... We have time to cook? Nah, I'm just fucking... I'll just wait around. Damn, man, that's... Pretty wicked. That's funny. You've got to let the fire get hot enough to burn the coal, or it just doesn't do anything. You think this will cook in less than an hour? Yeah. And fire went out. No, we're fine. God damn it. Gotta wait two minutes. That only took 20 minutes, so... Yeah. We were still doing good. We got 10 hours of bailout left. Rolling around. Nice. It's about the same as the firewood. And it he heats up the fire really fast. Yeah, what's it up to, he wise Oh, man, look at that climb. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna try to grab some more of this. Yeah. Even if it weighs a lot. Okay. So, try to eat some of this. It won't last very long. Ooh, 23 whole calories. Yeah, that's like 23 calories? Yeah. Because that was the, it takes it in kilogram increments. So that was like the, the 0.1 kilogram remainder of our 1.1 kilogram rabbit. Oh, man, I was confused. Do we have liquided sides? Yeah, we just have to drink water. That coal's cool. That coal is kind of cool. Uh, you want to sleep for an hour? Yeah, let's sleep for an hour. We got our our slick uh, slick 1800 coal fire going. That's pretty nice, man. It's a good thing Ebenezer Scrooge is in here. He'd only let us put one piece of coal in that fire. Mind you, that's all we really need. We're no, going to leave this fire burning. My grandpa, his first job that he had when he was five years old Shoveling coal? Was to drag around a wagon and deliver coal to people back when they still had coal bunkers beneath their house. That's awesome. Because apparently my grandpa... Is that old? Is that old. I mean, well, he's dead now, oh. but... Was this the one with bad eyesight? Yeah, yeah. This this was the grandpa that tried to join the army to go to Korea like six separate times, and they just wouldn't take him. And eventually he got in the Navy for like two weeks oh, before shit. they... Uh, before they figured out how blind he was and kicked him out. This is fucking retarded big. This is retarded big. There's someone's chill out spot over there. I'm going. Um, if I remember right, you go up that ramp and that's the way out. If, uh, if I remember right, there's like 20 wolves in here. There's not wolves in here. And we find a lot of dead people, you noticed? Yeah. I mean, that's cool with me because I've got cool stuff. Like that accelerant I used. Place my accelerant. I figure we can tear that down. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want the reclaimed wood, right? No, that stuff's kind of junk. Especially compared to uh, superior coal. coal. Yeah. Man, I don't know why anybody doesn't just... Everyone should just use that. You know, in real life. 
Remember when we were uh, burning charcoal in your dad's fireplace and then we stopped because we found out they can kill us with carbon monoxide poisoning? Lots of things can do that. <laughs> there was, uh, so me and me and Dylan live in the same place now, but he used to stay with his dad and I stayed over there a lot because I'm a boring person. His reasons. And uh, his dad, in order to save money one winter, would uh, uh, turn the heater to 40 degrees. Just like the minimum. And there was a fireplace in the basement. And he, where we where we hung out, where Dylan's room was, and he told us to uh, just burn the fireplace. Which we gladly which did. Which we gladly did. Because it was cool. Heated the whole house to with the fireplace. Got it up to, you know, comfortable temperature, 75 or something. <laughs> and... Uh, we got to the point where we had our little trash can for our area, and we had to take trash out once a week because everything that wasn't plastic, glass, or metal, we just burned. Remember that time we burned tin? Yeah. On accident? The time we melted a nickel? No, we melted... Or was uh, it, the, it was the knob off the... Yeah, uh, we melted the knob off the fireplace on accident. Yeah, the knob fell off, and I was like, oh, it would be really cool to heat this up and Burn stuff with it. We had... Uh, and uh, then it just melted because it was like aluminum. Yeah, we had like the hottest fire I've ever seen in the fireplace. It was probably unsafe. It heated the entire house, though, because we had this big uh, two-story chimney. And uh, we'd warm up... It would basically warm up all the brick in the in the under part of the chimney, and that would float up to the upstairs. And so it would heat my dad's office, too. I got to be the fire master. I kept the fire going for ten days without using a match one time. Well, we did have that giant pile of firewood. Right. Man, we're... That's the way out. So I think whenever we phase into the new area would be a good spot to end it for the episode. That would be fine. Um, Because we've been in the cave for a while and we were doing stuff around first. And then for the next episode, we'll explore whatever place it uh, spits us out. Hopefully it's a new cave. I hate you. Hey, our, I know what our viewers like, and that's caves. Well, we are playing Minecraft, right? I got exactly. My, I got my lantern, which is kind of like a torch. Exactly. The Long Cave Explorer. That's what they call this game. Man, what if this, what if this was just a dead end? <laughs> We'd deal with it. Like, oh, cave in. Yeah, what, what if this uh, was the, I lost momentum. the slow game over where you just get, uh, just get stuck in a cave and starve to death? God, I really... I saw that, and I'm just like, oh, God. Not again. Never again. Never again. Sorry, I just I just finished watching. Uh, uh, what is it? Until dawn. It, I was watching the two best friends play. Um, oh, that Until the new dawn. horror game. So we can date this video. <laughs> Who cares? And uh, basically, the whole premise of that game, which this is spoilers, by the way. So uh, tune out for a Plug second. Plug yours if you don't want an entirely uh, unrelated game spoiled. Everyone started eating people. Like, these miners got trapped in a cave, and they started eating people. And uh, then they started turning into Wendigos, you know, which are super cannibals. Yeah, super Native American cannibals. And then they got, they got captured by an insane asylum that continued to starve them and feed them people so that they would keep changing. And you're a bunch of, you know, white kids stuck in so, the middle of nowhere. So by insane asylum, you mean mad scientist. Well, I mean, it was an insane asylum. Get it? Do you remember where to go? Insane asylum by not four. Um, I up. believe if we go right and kind of follow this uh, depression, yeah, it will take oh, us to a group we of gonna, buildings. We're going to end the episode. We're going to end the episode okay, here. Okay. We hit, a, we hit a save point, right, when we transitioned areas? I don't know. You may do it again? I mean, I'm sure we'll We fine. slept in the cave. Yeah, we'll be fine. Okay, so thank you guys for watching episode six. Uh, we're going to explore, what's this, Pleasant Valley? I believe so. Pleasant the next, Valley. In the next episode, hopefully we find some cool stuff. It might even be pleasant. Shut up, Dave. No. That was a terrible joke. You're terrible. I hope you die. No, you don't. I know. What if I died? You'd feel so bad. I know. I know. I'd have to work with one of the other guys. It'd be awful for everyone, especially anyway, me. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm really glad we had an episode without any shitty uh, technical problems. Um, 
And I can say that because it won't jinx it because we're about to, <laughs> we're about to finish it. So join us next time for Pleasant Valley. <laughs>